Oh, okay. Today we're working on a 2015 Nissan NV 2500. The windshield was r and here at a body shop so that they could do some uh, collision repairs around the a pillar structure and some paintwork. So this is a good example of, I get the question from time to time from people, well, how do you set it up if there's no windshield? Okay, because we use the old windshield as a way to set the tool to the vehicle. Well, today I'm going to show you how we set it up when there's no windshield in the opening. It's very simple. On this Nissan NV, in most Nissans, they use the red base plate, which is your 10 millimeter base plate, and it goes right to the wiper post. You can see. And what you want to do is just attach that base plate to the wiper post parallel. to the windshield open wrench, 14 millimeter, just go ahead, or ratchet, just go ahead and cinch it. It's not necessary to over tighten it, just enough to keep it from moving and to stabilize the plate. Now, once you've done this, we have the longest slide that comes in the kit, the longest of the four slides. It's a six inch slide. The distance between the toast and the glass requires for a six inch slide. You can see with it all the way down to the post, it just goes just below the uh, window opening. And by the looks of it, we may have room for a single drop. You can see the distance and how you want to determine that is usually about an inch and a half between the base of the rollers and the pinch weld. If you have at least an inch and a half or more, you can gauge it with your finger if you or, or a, a probe of some sort. That will be an indication as to whether or not you can do a drop. And it looks to me like we have a little plate. From the roller platform. Take the medium length bolts in your hardware kit. Inch and a half, run it through the slide, put a spacer on the opposite side of the bolt between the slide and the roller platform. Instead of coming from underneath, which you would conventionally bolt it onto, you come down from the top and that creates your drop configuration. There's two two adjustments. There's a single drop and a double drop. This here what we're doing is, is a single drop. And the reason that you may want to do a drop is because the further away from the vehicle you are when you go to set the glass is going to change the, the curvature and the profile is going to change the way it lays in at the top. So you want to make adjustments to bring the bottom of your windshield as close to the opening as you can without being too close. So that is why we have these adjustments. Now, single drop has been converted. Go ahead and position our deck tool, and you can see we're still the wheels are still above the pinch weld, so they can turn freely. Now we still have to make adjustments because we don't have the windshield in the opening. We can't be certain where it needs to be, so the, the easiest way to do this is to simply do a single dry fit. Just secure one of your locking screws with it all the way down. You can come around to the passenger side and just get a side profile. Now, because the wiper post is more towards the passenger side from center, I'm going to be setting this from the driver's side. It really doesn't make any difference if the post is center, but when it's off center, it makes uh, it's more optimum to set from the side where you have more control of the glass or more weight of the glass. See, I'm keeping the, the glass in my center of gravity. It's the most ergonomic way for me to carry and handle the glass. So when I get over to the vehicle, I lean the glass into the tool and the weight instantly transfers to the tool. The further I roll it over the vehicle, the more the weight transfers to the vehicle and off of my frame. Now, once I get over the opening, I simply lower it down slowly, place it at the top, and you can see, because we still have to make adjustments, we're way low. 
Okay, but this is very easily, very easily compensated for. Now that we're setting in there dry, we can take some temporary tape. Okay, and we'll raise one side up to where it needs to be. Just line up your top corner. And because the adjustment that needs to be made may be greater than the width of the wheels, just be prepared for the tool to come off of the wheels when you go to place it. Because you can see how high we have to come up off the to bring it where it needs to be. It's going to jump off the wheels. So what we want to do is get our hands to get our cup in the center here so we have complete control. Pick it up off of the, off of the roller deck, bring it up here to the top, and center it where it needs to be in the opening. So you can see it came off our roller deck. But now you have the glass as a gauge to make the adjustments needed to properly align the whole deck system. Go so ahead and pull that up. The way we do this now is we simply put a suction cup in the middle, or you can use a plastic pry bar or something just to get underneath the glass with your clean hands or gloved hands. Simply lift the glass. Then we simply lift the glass, slide the roller deck up under the glass with the wheels against the bottom edge of the windshield. Make sure that the wheels are pressed firmly against the glass so that you maintain the proper alignment and adjustment. Secure your set screws. And now your perfect factory alignment has been achieved. Now you can go ahead and retract your temporary tape. I will leave it in place so that you can reuse it once the windshield is placed over the earth paint. Move the tape and the windshield actually drop a little bit. Even though we compress the rollers against the glass, we still lack a little bit. When we removed the tape, I noticed that a gap was created at the top. Not much of one, but a little bit of a gap was created at the top. So what this tells me is when I remove the windshield, I'm going to want to adjust my roller deck up a little bit higher just to compensate for that slack, that, that slack in the, uh, in the adjustment. So I'll go ahead and pick up the windshield on the deck, roll it out to my center which is very easy to do. Now, I want to raise it approximately a quarter of an inch. So what I'll do is I'll just make a mark on my plate so that I can see where it is currently. Just in case I lose my reference point, I'll loosen it. Okay, I'll just let it rock up on a quarter of an inch on that side. Secure it. Rock it up a quarter on this side. Okay. Secure it. Okay. And 
now I can shoot and set this glass with confidence knowing it's going to go precisely to the factory intended it to be. You know what I'm doing here is just running a tiny little bead along the molding edge so that I can be confident that the molding is adhered to the glass edge. Like I said, keep it in my center of gravity makes it very easy and comfortable to carry. So just lean over, place the windshield edge into the rollers, roll it over, and, and Dan, if you can get the inside view, you can see how as we're rolling it over, we're well clear of the urethane. And I bring it down using my line of sight, and you can see this vehicle's got a very high center of gravity. But it's really not an issue. You make your reference points as to where you need to be. I used a bin and I used a corner to tell me where I needed to drop it. It went in very clean. The weight is done. Now all I have to do is adjust the profile of the molding so everything lines up and looks nice. Go ahead and strap tape this top corner. All, all I really have to do is just strap tape it so that when I remove the roller duct, it will fall into place. Loosen my set screws. up the glass, slide down the roll deck, let the glass drop into place. Pressing it in, and you have an accurate factory like set straight down onto the urethane bead with the use of the roll deck system. It really doesn't get any easier than that, folks. The precision is a must, it's the roll deck you can trust. You should order yours today www.rolldeck.net.